Hello guys, today I have a scrim for you uh, against a team that's pretty much the same skill level as us. We uh, played two halves, they won one and we won one, and it was pretty much the same difference of winning each time. Uh, so this is the second half, the one we win, and I am disguised as a friendly sniper because I'm trying to uh, make the enemy team think that the sniper is not actually where he is, so he has a little bit of uh, protection in that regard. And then I just sit on this rock and call positions, medic's right, engineer's pushing in, pyro's going, uh, engineer puts a sentry down so I take this opportunity to try to stab him and zap, and I get totally screwed by hit registration and die. Uh, really disappointed that that stab didn't hit, because right afterwards I took out my sapper and it kind of, that combination kind of screwed me over. Uh, needed some sort of weapon after that fail. I don't even think it connected which is super frustrating, and then I didn't have any way to react after it, so I tried to do a little bit of, you know, fancy footwork uh, to survive. Now as I push in here, I see the ubers pop, so I just kind of wait behind these rods and use them as uh, cover to decloak. Kind of want to get that medic right when it ends, but he sees me. Uh, he doesn't heal me, unfortunately, but, uh, you know, he's not going to die. I get the demo instead. Medic's not that great a pick right after an Uber. Uh, I was more concerned with them putting out damage. So I just get to higher ground, and I'm looking to get uh, a pick right here. But they all spawn in that fashion, and I just decloak right when I know they're all out and just uh, get the heavy. And lucky for me, I can get away from that. And I tried to take some shots at the engineer right here. Uh, only one shot, but, you know, that would have been a nice little pick to get. And then I just go in and see what I can do. Uh, soldier, not necessarily the best pick, but he had some overheal on him, so he could have jumped in and done some damage. So, you know, not a bad pick. Not a great pick. Not a bad pick. Uh, I saw the combo coming in, and I was going to try to just, you know, sneak in there and get picks. Uh, but they were just sitting at spawn, building Uber, and I call that out. They have about 90% mm, Uber right now, and they're pushing in with demo, so... What I want to do is I'm going to get down and decloak, and I'm going to try to sneak in and get that medic before he pops. Um, <laughs> but a teammate jumped in, had the same idea, and I got caught in the crossfire and was rendered rather ineffective and rather dead, which is always unfortunate. Pyro actually did quite a bit of work right there. He almost got the uber uh, demo dead off the cliff, but not quite. He did survive, though, which is nice. Uh, in between first and second point on this map is a cool spot that I really want to try and succeed at, uh, but I've yet to do. With the Yuri Tunnel Reward, there's a little light that you can stand on, and as they pass under it, you can decloak, they don't see you, and then you just get... you stab everybody on the cart, essentially. So that's why I'm using that knife. Get a stab on the Engineer, and then run straight into a heavy that I uh, really didn't know was there. <laughs> Which is unfortunate, because he just mows me down. They're putting up defense. I switch back to default knife, because it looks like they're going to push through before I can even uh, get to that spot, which is slightly to the left from this point that you're seeing right now. Get backdoored by the demo, so our entire defense is gone. And so what I'm going to do instead is take this teleporter, which is actually behind them, which is kind of hilarious. They were calling, hey, Spy, you should uh, take the teleporter and see what you can do. So I was like, all right. Uh, get behind here. That heavy's pretty uh, paranoid about spy checking. You can see him shoot a couple bullets back, and as they go away, I get in there and uh, take advantage of the situation. Get lit on fire, get knocked back, but I manage to get a half health with four health left, which is nice, and then I just do a bit of protecting the cart while um, a lot of my team is down. I get Jurati there, which is you know, always unfortunate because it pretty much spells instant death in Highlander, but somehow I survive and I uh, keep doing work on my cart. Just getting the picks, uh, decloaking behind it, etc. Uh, I saw the combo coming in and I saw some demo spam, so I'm pretty confident that we can hold the cart without me keeping an eye on it, so I'm just gonna go in and see what I can do. Uh, decloak right here, trying to go for that demo, I think. I turn around and I see the scout behind me and I thought that was a spy, honestly. And I managed to get a sidestab on the heavy, which I think is 
probably the last times I kill him, which is terribly unfortunate. Accidentally pick up the sandwich that was dropped for, uh, dropped preemptively for our medic, and then just get back into, uh, general spy stuff. On the lookout right now, this is a nice little thing I like to be in, but I took a bunch of damage, and then I died from the scout. I was... I didn't see the scout a single time, and I was, uh, a little bewildered at that entire segment. Now, right here, our demo and our medic are trying to take that teleport I took, uh, behind them with full crits, <laughs> which I'm not entirely sure works, uh... It was pretty hilarious, but they ended up capping before they could get back, which is rather unfortunate. I died of random spam, which is, you know, terribly exciting, but they did cap it there. Uh, I'm not sure how that crit went, honestly. I didn't see anything about it, so I can only hope that that was awesomely hilarious. Uh, so I'm going to spawn here in a second, just make my way back, obviously. Uh, apparently with the Your Eternal Reward, sometimes I like to run it on defense just to mix it up. It's not terribly great on offense, but that's because sentries are a bigger problem. Uh, this is a, a crappy death right here. I was trying to figure out a way to sidestep the sniper. He misses his Gerardi, and then I just get picked off by the scout, but after that I was... <laughs> Honestly, I was a little bit frustrated. I was like, why the hell did I not move? What was I doing? I felt like it deer in headlights there. I just saw him and stopped and was trying to, you know, figure out a way back. I only had a quarter cloak. I didn't want to run straight back because I'd just run in. And that mistake ended up killing me, which, you know, always sucks. Uh, still running the Your Eternal Reward because there's a nice little decloak spot right on the uh, bend of the uh, scaffolding over there that you can decloak and they hardly look at, so I'm trying to take advantage of that. Um, Managed to pop their uber. That medic always manages to see me at the very last second, which is really frustrating. Uh, right now, I'm gonna forego clo or health rather to try to get chain stabs on this. Heavy just manages to see me. I have no idea why he was looking over there. It's almost like he heard me decloak or something. But uh, that was super frustrating for me because I thought that was pretty good setup for uh, you know pretty good play of a few stabs, and I felt cheated out of that. Now I'm going to speed it up here because I don't get another kill for the rest of the round, so it's rather boring to watch. Uh, you can see I do pretty poorly here, get mowed down by the heavy, uh, get trolled by the scout, and then we lose the round right in time for me to respawn. So naturally, next round we are attacking, and we do end up winning pretty... Uh, pretty healthily, so spoiler alert there. We win this round. So, uh, sitting here, cloak and dagger, and usually this is a bad idea to try to just sneak out because, as you can see, they spam it. Uh, I do manage to get through though, which is surprising to me. And that heavy is really giving me problems. He just sweeps the area and almost gets me every time. Uh, I run into a bunch of people, have no cloak. But luckily, the sniper doesn't see me, so I get a clean stab on him, disguise as him, and, uh, go and see if I can get some stabs. Heavy spy checks me here, and I just ignore him, and I think it ends up saving my life. I don't know if there's something else that he was distracted by, but I get out of that. Uh, and then right here, I just try to decloak. So, if I need to, I can sap it pretty much instantly. Uh, I try to go for the stab, but... I swear, this Heavy had some sort of insane ears, because he's looking straight at me right when I turn the corner. It's... <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure I was yelling at that point, screaming profanity, like, how the heck did you even know I was there? He was looking straight at me, I mean... But, you know, it's... whatever. We respawned and we continue on. Uh, when I'm running back into combat, I like to switch disguises pretty rapidly and check all their weapons. And if I see anything that's odd, I call it out. So I saw a spy was using wing prick. Call that because that could be a problem if we don't keep it in check. I see the medic and I want to get him. I know he's around here somewhere, so I'm just waiting for him. See him? Go for him. He looks at me, so I just veer off like I was going up there the entire time. And then just pick off the... Uh, engineer and the medic can't do anything about that, so that's sentry down. They pop over, 
I'm just waiting here. I'm going to see if I can pick anybody off once that ends. Pick up the health very sneakily. And then almost get the medic on that pick. And then I just suicide for the uh, point. I'm not entirely sure that was the best decision since we don't really gain a spawn and they don't spawn back further. And it's not like that's going to help us win anymore. But uh, say if we get standstilled here, then at least it won't go back beyond that point. So... You know, it is uh, nice for us. They're forced to fall back, so... Yeah, maybe it was worth it. Now, you might have noticed a little hiccup back there a few seconds ago. Uh, we had to pause the game because uh, a random person joined our team that we didn't know, that they didn't know, so it was 10v9, so we had to pause and kick them out. <laughs> so I had a little spaz attack with my hands there, but that's what that was about. I was just trying to infiltrate at this point. This is probably not the best disguise, so I change, and I'm just hiding behind this rock, uh, regaining cloak, making calls. Uh, nobody's really going to check back there at this point in the game since everybody's down below, so it's pretty safe for me until, you know, Pyro comes up and flares me in the butt. And I try to get a stab on him, but that heavy, I mean, like I said, he's really on me. I don't know how he keeps looking straight at me. It's super frustrating. Anyway, standard uh, recovery protocol. Right now I'm disguised as a friendly pyro. Uh, and that's, you know, if you disguise as friendly classes, then they can make bad calls, which, you know, can help you out. But it's not terribly reliable. Uh, better, usually I run friendly pyro, friendly sniper, or enemy spy when I'm running in like that. I'm just using my team as a distraction at that point to get picks. Uh, soldier wasn't terribly important, but, you know, instant death is better than uh, losing somebody to kill him. Just standing on the point right now because we need times three, which we aren't getting for some reason for a lot of this game. Uh, disguise as a friendly so that they don't call spy on, on the cart. And once I see that the cart's fine without me, I push in. Uh, I just hang back here and see if I can you know, make some calls, uh, infiltrate in a slow but steady fashion. Honestly, right now I'm waiting for the sniper to pop out so I can call him because I think our sniper is on there. Yep, just pick the medic. And so I say, hey sniper, sniper's now up, so be careful. But I end up picking him regardless and then getting the demo who apparently doesn't have ears, so we continue on our merry way. Uh, just cloak in front of this wall and just wait for picks to occur. Uh, I should have stayed here longer than I did, but I thought I could get a kill that ended up not needing any help whatsoever. I see that spy disguised as demo. Call it. Jump down. Uh, didn't see him. See the demo. <laughs> Killed him, and then I'm just like, well, that was a waste of time. I have full cloak, though, so I can make it uh, all the way into their race uh, pretty safely. And I'm going to go see if I can do anything with this engineer. Now this segment's rather embarrassing for me since I spend uh, a lot more time than I want to here and I t uh, die without doing anything of use. Uh, I'm just trying to look for an opening for that engineer so I can get that sentry down and we can push in. Uh, eventually decide to just decloak straight behind him, which doesn't work. I think he bumps into me and immediately knows I'm there, so he just turns around. But the entire time I'm watching him, I don't see him turn around a single time, so I'm like, oh, maybe I could just go to Spawn Door and decloak, and he uh, won't notice it. So, get in there, bumped into him, decloak, he just looks straight at me, I'm dead. I'm pretty sure I was getting made fun of in Mumble after that. Uh, in retrospect, I should have just sat on the ledge right next to the sentry and just sapped it and hoped that he didn't see me, and just spam sapped it, because the Honestly, not a lot of people look there. Uh, should have made sure the pyro wasn't around because he would have roasted me. Call the spy, and then just kind of carry on because, you know, I'm not terribly suited for that kind of job. You know, spies around spawn, be careful, and then I'm on my way. Just waiting for picks here. Uh, get the scout. Mm. Not bad. Not great. Not bad. But, you know, uh, try to get back in position to get more stabs. I see the soldiers there, so I just move up. Uh, still trying to figure out what I can do with this 
engineer and eventually say screw it and uh, carry on over there. I guess I get mad milked? And so I'm sitting here cloaked and cloak is terribly ineffective. I see that sniper and I'm absolutely uh, expecting to get headshot any minute but I guess seriously nobody saw me there. That's a nice little spot that I'm going to use from now on. Um, try to be tricky right here. I ended up dying to an uber saw which is fine because I didn't charge it, I don't think. I was cloaked and disguised. Uh, but we end up pushing for the win, so that's the end of this clip. And as always, thanks for watching. Uh, before you go, I'd like to talk about a few things. The first one being the guide that I said I was going to make at the beginning of summer. Uh, I still want to do that. The problem with that is that it takes a lot of effort to get clips, and honestly, I haven't been very motivated uh, for a number of personal reasons, but look out for that, because that is something I want to do, and something I spend a lot of time considering. Now, the second thing I want to talk about is I recently started a new YouTube channel for Let's Play videos. Currently, I'm playing Quantum Conundrum, and I'm four parts in, I think, right now. And the reason that's a new channel instead of uploading to this one is because I have 540-something subscribers on 2C3C, and they all subscribe for TF2 Spy, and I don't want to cheat them out of that, so I'm going to keep on uploading TF2 Spy stuff to that channel, and I'm going to do... Uh, this new thing that I want to try on this new channel. So if you are into that, if you'd like to see my face, if you like to hear my voice, if you'd like to see me humiliate myself, then come check it out. Uh, hopefully you'll get a laugh from it or something. And I uh, hope to see you there. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.